The Doors Act. In the haze-filled corridors of 1887, the Dawes Act insinuated itself into the legal archives, a nasty piece of legislation presented as an ambitious strategy to integrate Native Americans into the tumult of mainstream American society. It bore the moniker of the General Allotment Act, a bureaucratic panacea for what was perceived as the Indian problem. However, the intricacies harbored a dark reality. The Dawes Act's expansive vision aimed to dismantle tribal lands, dividing them like a confection and distributing the segments among individual Native Americans, all in the pursuit of assimilation. The belief was that exchanging communal land for private property would be a miraculous potion, transforming indigenous individuals into genuine farmers. They failed to anticipate the brutal aftermath that reverberated through Native American communities. The Sioux Nation, a proud bunch with a history more impressive than a Wall Street tycoon, were gut-punched by the Dawes Act, losing over 7.5 million acres of their sacred turf. It wasn't just about economics, it was a cultural tsunami that crashed, sweeping away traditions like debris in a flood. But that wasn't the end of the horror show. The Dawes Act threw an extra twist of madness, the forced removal of Native American children. They called it the Indian Boarding School Movement, a sinister operation to strip away the indigenous essence from these kids. They were snatched from their homes and tossed into boarding schools, where their heritage was beaten out of them with a cultural whip. The consequences were like a festering wound that never healed. Families torn apart, cultural roots ripped out like weeds, and the younger generation left wandering in a cultural desert, haunted by the echoes of stolen identities. In the grand tapestry of U.S. history, the Dawes Act is a dark thread, stitching together the madness of Euro-American expansion and the arrogance that fueled it. A clash of worlds, one pushing westward, eyes on economic glory, and the other, the indigenous soul of North America, trampled under the boots of manifest destiny. Fast forward to the present day, and delving into the Dawes Act reveals a disturbing relic of inhumanity. It is a stark reminder of historical transgressions, a reflective surface echoing the enduring weight of Native American historical trauma. It's imperative that we squarely confront, acknowledge, and actively engage in healing the wounds inflicted by the past. Yet, the Dawes Act extends beyond a mere historical narrative, it emerges as a cautionary entail for our contemporary era. It stands as a luminous warning against the perils of cultural assimilation and the steep costs associated with trampling on diversity. In a global landscape navigating the intricate dance of diverse cultures, the Dawes Act emphatically declares, witness the consequences when attempts are made to obliterate an identity. Indeed, the Dawes Act was packaged with a persuasive narrative, advocating for agricultural advancement and economic autonomy. However, the negatives compose a dissonant suffering melody that drowns out that promotional tune's feeble strains. The dispossession of land, the fracture of rich cultural tapestries, and the haunting cries of forcibly separated children encapsulate the legacy it bequeathed. Here we stand, at the crossroads of history, gazing at the shadow of the Dawes Act. It's a chapter that demands meticulous examination, not to be hastily skipped or superficially overlooked. In comprehending this somber narrative, we transcend the realm of mere historical study, we confront the lingering shadows, casting a lengthy and contorted silhouette on the history of America. So, you've managed to endure a slice of the RPTM podcast. We pat ourselves on the back for possibly coaxing a chuckle out of you, but let's be real, we're aiming for the tears here. If, by some twist of fate, you actually found this clip halfway interesting, do us a favor, bestow upon us the mighty power of the thumbs up and grace that subscribe button with your presence.